Located in the heart of Paris, the Musée Mayol houses the works of French sculptor Aristide Mayol. He inspired German artist Kita Kollwitz more than a century ago. That's reason enough to send one of Mayol's most important sculptures, Girl Kneeling, to Cologne. It's a very important work in Mayol's life, and I wouldn't loan it to just anybody. It must have its own place. The sculpture must be protected because people want to touch it, and they could damage it with a ring or the sweat from their hands. That's why it needs its own display case. Musée Mayol's archivist, Nathalie Uze, is overseeing every stage of the journey. The sculpture, which dates from the year 1900, may be small, but it's priceless. The museum wouldn't ever consider selling it. We monitor the sculpture's condition before it travels. We've prepared notes and photos so we can ascertain if everything's fine when the sculpture is unpacked in Germany or if something's happened to it in transit. It looks like this, with photos from all sides. Here, the patina, the paint, is slightly worn away. That's often the case on the bottom. But that's nothing. It's very pretty. Now the sculpture's ready to go. For the shipping company, which specializes in transporting artworks, packing a small bronze like this is quite routine. Still, it requires a lot of concentration. They cut pieces of foam to match the sculpture's outlines to ensure that no damage is caused to the patina. Only the museum's specialists know how much the artwork is being insured for. But the amount is high enough that Nathalie Uze is personally accompanying the sculpture to Cologne. She often plays the role of courier when Musée Mayol loans out part of its collection. Fastening the crate to the truck is another security measure. Nathalie Uze is responsible for the sculpture until it's unpacked in Cologne. A few days later, at the Keita Kolwitz Museum in Cologne, all the artworks for the museum's 25th anniversary exhibition have arrived. Such as the painting by Edgar Degas on loan from the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. It now hangs alongside self-portraits of Keita Kolwitz, which have come from Nuremberg, Berlin and Switzerland. A total of 160 works from all over the world are on display at the exhibition. They all had to be specially requested, insured, and transported. The sum required amounted to twice the small museum's annual budget. One of the highlights is this Picasso from a private collection. It inspired Keita Kolwitz to create this drawing. The Picasso loan was approved only after much negotiation. First, we have to clarify the security of the museum. That goes to America. They ask a thousand questions. What's the museum security? Where will the piece be located and why? Where are the walls? Where are the motion sensors? Where are the cameras? Where's the alarm button to the police? How quickly can somebody get here? What happens if there's a fire? A thousand questions. The museum director unpacks the crate from the Musée Mayol last. Working with the museum in Paris was uncomplicated. Permission to borrow the piece was given quickly. The courier, Nathalie Uze, has already left, and now Hannelore Fischer is responsible for the artwork. The bronze statue is one of her favorites, and she's never seen the original. Together with a representative from the shipping company, she inspects the sculpture. We have to precisely examine what the restorers have written, and I have to look and see whether I find other marks on the sculpture that were maybe overlooked, and to make sure we've handled the piece well. 
And then the moment Hannelore Fischer has been waiting for. She positions the sculpture in front of a drawing by Käthe Kollwitz, which shows how much Mayol's girl kneeling influenced the German artist. After two years of preparation, the museum director has reaped the fruits of her labor.